barbecue. That is one powerful word in my vocabulary. I tell you what, my earliest memories of barbecue was being somewhere around the age of four or five, the first time I ever tasted it. My dad, now, he never owned a smoker that I know of, but every chance he got, he would pull by one of these little roadside barbecue shacks, and he'd buy up some barbecue ribs, pulled pork, things like that, and uh, feed the family with it. And the first time I ever bit into it, I remember it like yesterday, I'm like, what is this? Man, that's good. And barbecue, that's exactly what it was. And I've been in love with it ever since. Nowadays, things are a lot different. You got a lot more health department getting involved. You can't really have the roadside shacks like you did in that day unless you certify, you know, having all the proper things that the health department requires, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying those days are kind of gone forever. Today, you got more establishments more in the form of barbecue restaurants, and Mississippi is no uh, exception. There's plenty of them up and down this coast right here, and I don't go to a lot of them. I personally prefer doing it myself, but uh, occasionally we will stop in there and, and check them out. There's a few of them that I really do like, and I will go in there and stop from time to time. Now, the next few weeks, we're not gonna really be focusing on barbecue as far as the meat goes. We're gonna be focusing on barbecue sides. I've been requested numerous times by subscribers to do things such as side dishes to go with barbecue, barbecue sauces, things of that nature. So we're gonna get the ball rolling with that in anticipation for a new offset smoker that will be in these videos, hopefully within a month, month and a half. But until then, we're gonna start focusing on side dishes. And today we're gonna to be doing a Jack Daniels barbecue baked bean recipe that is killer. It's gonna be good, I hope you give it a try. So let's go ahead and get started with that and let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how to make some killer beans. We make this quite a bit and they are delicious. Now what I've done is I've taken some dried white northern beans. That's what you see right here. I soaked them overnight. And then first thing this morning, in the same pot that they were in with the water, I just fired it up and I let these simmer for around an hour. And as you can see, they're somewhat tender. They're actually al dente. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in our pan to begin with. Spread these out a little. Now while I was simmering these this morning, I added like one tablespoon of salt and I also added in about a quarter, quarter of a cup of the Jack Daniels. Go ahead and start infusing some of that Jack Daniels flavor into that even at that early, early stage. All right, now into that, I'm gonna take one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and I've also taken two ounces of tomato paste, and I've already blended that into the sauce. I've got one half cup of yellow prepared mustard. One cup of turbinado sugar. You can also use brown sugar in this. I just happen to like the turbinado a lot. I got one and a half cups of beef broth going in. Three quarters of a cup of molasses. Now we're gonna take this Jack Daniels Black Label and we're gonna add in around one half of a cup. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm adding in one tablespoon of the frog bone hot sauce. This is a pepper sauce. It's not hot, it's more of a medium, but it's really good in flavor. It's gonna be excellent in these beans. I've got one medium sized white onion. I've got one bell pepper and six cloves of garlic that I've minced. All that's going in. 
All right, now we're going to add in, this is one half pound of bacon. I browned about halfway done. You don't want to render it completely out. You want some of this bacon actually render into these beans. Going to add a lot of flavor. Also going to add in about a half a teaspoon of salt to begin with. We'll check this again later on to make sure we're good on the salt. And of course some cracked black pepper. That bacon is carrying salt within it and the uh, fat that it's going to render out. So that's why I caution you on starting off with too much salt. You do want to add a little because that's not going to be enough for all these beans and vegetables and such as that. All right, let's give it a final mix here. Now I want to add in some smoke into these beans. So what I'm going with is these Jack Daniel chunks. These are actual chunks from the barrels that they age the Jack Daniels in. And I want to thank Chris Lynch with Mother's Barbecue for sending me those. I cannot find those in my area. Thank you so much, Chris. I tell you what, you really need to go check Chris out. The man can cook. He's got some phenomenal videos. I hope you go over there and check him out. I'll have a link in the description box for Chris's channel, Mother's Barbecue. All right, so we're gonna set our beans right here in between this for indirect cooking right here in the middle. Now I'll be checking these periodically, giving them a stir, checking for doneness. I've got my bottom vent and my top vent closed quite a bit. We want to cook this somewhere around 300 degrees. I'll be putting a thermometer in here and uh, checking my temps as we go. Okay. All right, I just dropped in. I'm hanging a little chuck roast here. I've got also the same Jack Daniel barrel chunks on this as I do on the beans. This is not about the barbecue, just like I said earlier. This is all about the sides. But I did want to show you what we're going to be having with the beans. If you'd like to check out the video where I've done this exact same recipe before, please click on the card right above. Let's take a look at these beans, see where we're at. Oh yeah. Now that's about the, the thickness you want on these beans. Problem is, they're not completely ready yet. They're not completely tender. They're getting close. Now, I let these go for one hour. I checked them, and they were about like this. And I added in probably around, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of uh, beef broth. So I'm going to do the same thing again. These have to go at least another hour. All right, we're going to hold with that right there. We're going to stir this in. In about another hour, they should look like they did when I pulled the lid off of this. And they should be that much more tender. Actually, they should be about done. I've done a salt check. We're good on that. Beef broth has sodium in it. I added that little bit of salt. You got the bacon. I right, really wasn't going to focus much on the meat. Like I said earlier, this is all about the sides. But I just pulled this out of the pit barrel cooker. Now, I did just want to say one thing. If you go check out that other video, if, if you haven't already, it does call for one Coca-Cola. And you just basically pour that in the pan, pour it over the meat. All right, that part hadn't changed. On the original video, I used maple syrup that I poured over the beef, but I'm thinking molasses this time. We're gonna give it a shot with that Jack Daniels smoke coming through, coke, molasses. I'm thinking yes. Get that all over the top. It's gonna be the perfect blend of sweet is what I'm thinking. It's gonna go very good with the smoke that's in this meat. So we're gonna give that a try. I'm gonna take and cover this real tightly with aluminum foil, put it back on the pit barrel cooker and we're gonna cook this till it hits around 215 degrees internal temp. It's gonna be pulled apart, melting your mouth tender. All right, finally we are done. Let's take a look at these beans. Ooh, we are still steaming. Look at that. Man, these smell good. I love that consistency with beans. They're not juicy or watery. Just like that, man. Perfect.
All right, over here, we've got some of this pulled beef. Just gonna put this on a bun. Gonna top this with a little store-bought barbecue sauce. Put her cap on it, that's all I need. I'm gonna get me a big helping of these beans. And we are getting ready to eat. But first, we're gonna do a taste test. Gotta try this sandwich first. I tell you what, I think, I don't know. I like pulled beef almost maybe better than I like pulled pork. It is so good. And like I said earlier, Coke, don't put that down until you try it. Something about that Coke and molasses, the sweetness mixed with that beef with the rub that went in there is absolutely delicious. All right, let's go ahead and try the star of this show, and that's the baked beans, the Jack Daniels baked beans. And they are hot. Mm. perfectly tender now if you kept up with this video you've seen that roughly I, I went about three hours and I had to add the uh, beef broth in there twice after each hour I had to add some and at the end of that third hour it had got down to the thickness that I like which is this right here so at the end of three hours I sealed it with aluminum foil and keep in mind on this Weber grill that the coals were slowly dying down. So my heat had gotten down to like 225 by the time I wrapped it. And for the most part, they just sit there and steamed and it became very tender. These are perfectly done, awesome flavor. Jack Daniels, you cannot detect a Jack Daniels flavor per se. That's what scares a lot of people off, I think. They're thinking their beans or their meat or whatever you're using in is gonna taste like Jack Daniels and it don't. It just adds this really good flavor to it. You just have to experience it to see what I'm talking about. Hope you give these a try. Overall, great success. Please stay tuned to the next video. It's gonna be a smoked potato salad right here on Smoky Ribs and I'll see you then.